Hey, what's up everybody? Brent for Brent Speed. It's shop tour day. We're outside of Brent Speed here. We are located in Indiana. I will put a link in the description you can click on to see exactly where we're at. But today's gonna be cool. We're gonna check out some sweet stuff out in the shop. Gen 2 Coyotes, Gen 3 Coyotes, a Magnum, brand new 23 Corvette. We have all kinds of cool stuff we're gonna check out. I have Doug with me. Doug, why don't you follow me? Let's walk inside. We're gonna go inside first, check out the vet. I'm gonna explain why is a 23 vet here. It's gonna make a lot more sense here in a minute. Doug, follow me in here. And hey, if you haven't, please subscribe and notify us up to date. Check out all kinds of cool dyno videos. But you are in our showroom here. You're in our showroom here at Brent Speed in Indiana. Check this awesome ride out right here. So this is one of our clients we just delivered last week. No, actually this week, a 2010 three valve Mustang GT auto laying down over 720 rural horsepower. And he also has a Shelby Raptor we went and picked up. And you know, a lot of our clients, they have different vehicles. So, you know, people think of us as a Mustang shop and we are, but we build a variety of vehicles here, which you watch the shop tours, you will see that. But he bought this brand new killer 23 vet. We brought it back with us. We're gonna do a Langenfelder, like a max NA build on it. So this is not supercharged, it's NA. So we're talking like full exhaust, a bunch of induction mods. This car is gonna be sick. Doug, let's go take a look at the interior on this mm -hmm. before we go out in the shop. Check out the dyno cell, check out some sweet rides. This car is awesome. I like these new vets a lot better than the old ones. I mean, they are so exotic looking. They're a sweet setup. But let's walk out here. We're gonna go in the shop. We're gonna check out the dyno cell. We're gonna take a quick lap around to see what we're working on today, and then we'll get this wrapped up. Follow me. So this is our uh, install facility out here. Let's take a peek before we go in the dyno cell. So this is where the cars are getting built, essentially, that we're working on today. We do have other areas to keep vehicles that may be waiting on some parts. But in a minute, we're going to take a lap around, show you all this stuff. This is our dyno cell right here. So let's walk out here. So a lot of the cars we build will end up right here in the dyno cell. It is awesome. Coyote here, right here. You know, this is a Gen 3 Coyote. It lays down over 800 little horsepower to the auto. I did do a video on this car. Maybe like a week ago, we're talking four return style fuel system, E85, all the goodness, you know, of course, the big injectors, headers, cylinder head cooling kit, oil pump gears, you know, everything you need to support that power. It's just waiting on the transport right now. Our dyno back here is a Dynojet 224X. A lot of people ask, hey, can I just bring my car there and get it tuned? But the issue is, this is literally booked almost every single day with cars we're building, and I think after you take a tour around the shop to see what we're working on today. You'll understand that. So no, we don't just make appointments to, for you to bring a car in to get tuned, only because I only have so much time, we only have so much time, and this is booked pretty much every day. But this is our dyno cell. You watch a lot of our dyno videos, you see those in here, and you don't really get to see like what's going on in the shop. That's why I like doing these shop tours. So let's go take a look. Now I will tell you, I try to do these like over lunch break or maybe over break time, but my schedule didn't work out like that today. So you might see some people out here working, making some noise. Apologize for that, but come on out. Here's an awesome 09 GT three valve Mustang. I put a video out on this car yesterday. You know, if you have a three valve Mustang, you're gonna love that video. That's why you need to like go through our channel and check out all the different videos we have because you might have a coyote, a 350, something else, a truck, but it's like 516, I think, real horsepower, stock engine, four racing manifold, Novi 2200, 12 PSI. We got this car wrapped up yesterday. It's just in right now. Uh, we're doing final inspection on it, just making sure everything's perfect, and then this thing will be going out the door. Pretty clear. You don't see a lot of yellow uh, Gen 2s in here, but go ahead, Tug. Take a look. Hey, Chris. You so uh, well still to check that down. All right. Gen 5 Coyote Stage 2 kit. I'm sorry. Jeez. Gen 5 Whipple. 
It's a stage two kit. And this is a Gen 2. So we stock these superchargers. So we stock them for the 18 and up. We stock them for the 15 and 17. We stock them for the GT350. We installed this a while back. And a lot of cars that we build come back again. This has been on there for a while. If you're looking to make, you know, let's say 650 plus real horsepower with your auto or stick, Gen 2 Coyote, really easy way to do it with a straight up stage two kit. It's in uh, this week for some awesome BMR suspension, you know, if you don't like the wheel hop, we have a package we put together that will handle that. And that's what we we're just installing on this right here. Check this out. This is pretty cool. I've not seen a Magnum like this. This is an 06 Magnum, awesome color, but you might be like, why is this in here? Well, here's another client. We built a badass three valve Mustang, supercharged HO Vortec, but he also has this car right here. So we're doing a built engine, of course, like upgraded camshaft. We did a built transmission and uh, we're doing a upgraded um, stall converter. This is a really, really cool NA car. And that's what's going on with this right here. You know, so maybe you have a Mustang, you have something else, or maybe you have a Mustang and a truck, or maybe you have none of those and you want something built. Quote at brentspeed.com is, what's it cost to get done? Let's keep going, Doug. Keep walking through here. That's Dom right there. Dom, say hi. What's say, up? There's Dom. 22 GT automatic. We're doing a Rush Supercharger. Let's go over and take a look. So the supercharger is not on the car yet, but it's tore down. We're doing a phase two kit, 750 flywheel horsepower, a rear cylinder cooling kit. And a lot of you might kind of wonder what's a Gen 3 Coyote look like, tore down. Come over here, take a look. Sorry, Rasco. I hate interrupting these guys, but I have to today. So intake manifolds off, and, you know, you got all this direct injection, everything going on on this. But a lot of you wonder, what's it look like under my stock intake manifold? Well, there you go. That's what it looks like. But you have to take it down that far if you're going to install like a Roush or a Whipple or anything that's going to go on top of the engine. If you're doing, you know, something like a Pax and Vortec Pro Charger, you know, the manifold stays on the top. But that's what it looks like right there. Let's go over here. So I change my vehicle lineup, my personal vehicle lineup, quite often. I typically maybe drive the same fun weekend vehicle for a couple years before I switch it. But you know, I have five kids, so I don't get to drive my Stangs all the time. But this right here is my ride for the summer. I'm really excited about it. I'm selling my 19 GT. I come over here. A lot of you might be like, why would you sell your Roush Supercharged 19 GT for a three valve? But hey, I'm a huge car kind of sewer. I can't just keep keeping all the cars that I have. So I'm selling my 19 convertible. You might have seen videos on it. It runs tens and a quarter. It's great. The black top. It's a cool ride. I've been wanting one of these Celines for a long time. 06 Celine. Celine supercharged. Doug, come down here, take a look. If you have a Celine Mustang, our most popular package for these cars for 05 to 10 supercharged Celines is what we call our stage three upgrade. It's called a Corvette Killer. You know, we named it that probably like an 05 or 06. So, okay, maybe it's not a Corvette killer today. Like that 23 you saw out there. But JLT intake, 3-4 pulley, fuel pump upgrade, colder spark plugs, 39-pound uh, fuel injectors is what this has right here. The 05s had stock fuel injectors in them from the factory. So you'll need to upgrade those if you have an 05. And 39s aren't available anymore. So we use 47s. We definitely have something to get you taken care of. One more I want to show you before we wrap this up. Now, this is cool. Another Gen 3 Coyote. This thing will be laying down. We're not quite finished with it. Uh, of course, Gen 5 Whipple. But this will be like eight to 900 rule horsepower, 85, four turn style fuel system, you know, big injectors. I'll do a video on this car so you can read it, you know, watch that and figure out exactly what are we doing. But if you go look at some old videos that we have on the Gen 3s, you'll see other cars just like this we did. But check this out. This is cool. So this is a paint to match supercharger on the Whipple right here. But you might be like, what are we painting to match? I mean, it doesn't match the car. What's going on here? So this particular client uh, had a Harley Davidson he loved. And that was the color of his motorcycle. He loved that Harley. 
So we paint match the supercharger to match it. That's really cool. Doug, let's spin around. We're going to wrap this up. And a lot of these vehicles I've shown you, you know, go through our channel. You'll see videos on them. Or, you know, if it's one that's not quite finished, you'll see a video on it in the future. That's why I want to subscribe and notify. And check our website. Almost, like all these Whipples and like the 18 up Roushes, we have these in stock. We can ship them right to your door. You can email sales at brentspeed.com or just give us a call 574 594 9559. I'm Brent. I hope you enjoyed the shop tour. I know I talk fast and I don't do a script or a bunch of takes and we don't cut it. It's just kind of like it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching.